what elements, tools, procedures, and approaches do you envision as strengthening the voices of the South? It is a difficult task because uh, after so many centuries of teaching the world, uh, I think it will be very difficult to have these voices of the South heard in Europe and heard in such a way that they are uh, viewed as uh, making important contributions. Not only they are intelligible, uh, that is to say they are important and intelligible, but they are important contributions to solve some of the problems that we are facing, not just in the global north, but in general in the world. And um, I don't think that we have so much, uh, we have much innovation, but we have lots of crises, lots of problems. So it's very important to highlight and uh, to amplify all the interesting and important experiences of social innovation and progressive social transformation that are taking place. How are we going to do that? Well, it is difficult and, and this project is really uh, geared to be innovative also as a project. That is to say, of course, we are going to have case studies in the countries that are included in this project. Uh, basically, uh, uh, aside from some European countries, India, South Africa, Brazil, Ecuador and Bolivia, we may have other countries eventually. And uh, we are going to have more information about these countries and uh, conduct some studies uh, of particular uh, instances of social innovation and social transformation at global level, at the national level, at local level, or even proposals for the global transformation of the world that are coming out of these countries and uh, make them known to us. But uh, one of the, our assumptions uh, is that um, scientific knowledge that is just one as a very important kind of knowledge that is not the only kind of knowledge. There are other kinds of knowledges. For instance, the social movements in these countries have produced knowledge. So how we are going to bring within the voices of the South is not just the instances of uh, the, the, the innovations that are taking place that uh, can be retrieved through uh, uh, research projects. Uh, no, we, we need to bring also the voices of the social movements and we have some, uh, one of our procedures is to include in this project uh, one instrument that we have developed within the World Social Forum, which is uh, the, the popular university of the social movements, which are uh, uh, workshops in which we bring together uh, uh, social scientists or artists and uh, leaders and activists of social movements. And during two days, they in exchange ideas, uh, have a dialogue on different topics of interest for the, their struggles, for the problems of the world, and therefore we merge what I call the ecology of knowledge, which is a central part in this uh, project. Moreover, I think that we are going to uh, include other forms of reproduction of knowledge. That we, are, we are going to include videos. Uh, we are going to include uh, photography. We are going to include eventually uh, poetry and contests and uh, other forms of expression that uh, may bring us. My, my house is full of videos of different social movements in different parts of the world. So they will be a very important uh, element for the diffusion of ideas and to bring uh, different voices. Uh, another idea for us is very important to have the public opinion uh, you know, discussing some of our topics, we know that in this case we have to involve the mass media and particularly the alternative, the indie media, the media, independent media. And um, that's why we are going to organize a forum of journalists and eventually have a kind of a, a, a small uh, news agency within the, the project in which we um, disseminate information about uh, this in a very plain language uh, in this, uh, of these uh, innovations. We are trained for that. I, in my past, I have already uh, contributed to, to this. For instance, I'm uh, now finishing up a project. In fact, one of our colleagues in this uh, uh, Alice project on indigenous uh, justice in Latin America. And we know that in order to disseminate our conclusions, we are going to do it by radio. Because many people, the radio in the remote mountains, of the Andes uh, in Latin America, probably the radio is the best uh, uh, media to reach these people. So we are going to, to have all kinds of different uh, procedures, uh, innovative in my way, 
uh, to try to bring to the, our knowledge all these experiences. And of course, uh, uh, for that, we need also to select different publics uh, in Europe because, of course, they are uh, policymakers, but there are also social movements in the north, and there are, you know, informed citizens that are inf interested in knowing about these wider experiences of the world. So I think that uh, it will be a complex task, but I think it's, it's within reach.